Welcome to the On My Workbench channel. A few days ago I re-stumbled onto a video on Dave Herbert's Night Flyer YouTube channel. The video is about how his friend Dave Robinger built a twin cylinder engine using two Cox 049 motors. After watching the video I posted a comment to Dave's channel telling him about an article that was in the May and June 1966 issue of American Modeler magazine. My dad used that article to build a similar twin using two Cox 049s, like the one that Dave's friend built. Dave suggested I do a YouTube video on it, so here it is. This will be a short video and I will not be running the motor as I don't have any glow fuel on hand. As I said in the comments on Dave's channel, I have the May-June issue of American Modeler magazine with the article in it that my dad used to build his twin cylinder 049. He built his in the late 60s or early 70s. He and I ran the motor and flew it on a two-channel model of a Curtis Robin. My dad did not have access to a mill or a lathe. All he had was a vise, a saber saw with metal cutting blades, a coping saw with metal cutting blades, hand files, and a quarter inch drill. As can be seen in this drawing, the front support plate that holds the front of the two motors in place is a piece of three quarter inch aluminum. He made his from a rectangle shaped piece of aluminum. He drew the pattern on the aluminum and drilled the holes before cutting it out. This gave him two flat surfaces that he used as X and Y reference points for the locations of the holes to drill in the aluminum. That would become the front support plate. After he drilled the holes, he installed two bolts in the holes where the front of the two motors would go and put nuts on the back side of the support plate and tightened the nuts. This gave him a way of securely holding the aluminum plate in his vise for cutting with the saber saw. Next, he mounted the aluminum plate in his vise and used a saber saw to cut out the rough shape of the front support plate. He used the coping saw in areas where he could not use the saber saw. Then he used the files to file the support plate to the correct shape to match that of the drawing shown in the article. This was all done by hand. If you look closely at the close-up photo, you can see the file marks in the aluminum. Next, he tapped the holes in the front of the support plate for the two bolts that are used to hold the support plate tight against the front of the two motors and the back of the two fuel tanks tight against the aluminum back plate. The back plate also serves as a motor mount to mount the motor to the firewall of a model. As for the prop shaft, I don't know if my dad made it or had it made. Most likely he made it himself from a bolt as described in the article. It looks to me as if he used a prop washer from another motor that he had rather than making one. A point of interest is the Cox series of engines starting with the Peewee 020, the 049, and the Golden Bee 051 all use reed valves in their fuel induction systems to supply the fuel and air to the engine rather than a Venturi with crankshaft port timing. It's this reed valve system that allows the Cox 049 engines to be used in this configuration with the gears and still use a conventional tractor prop. This is because Cox reed valve engines will run clockwise as well as they will counterclockwise. You could use a non-reed valve engine, but the engines would have to run counterclockwise and you would have to use a pusher prop rather than a tractor prop, and the pusher prop would have to turn counterclockwise rather than clockwise. While I was doing this video, I came across a German website by Dr. Martin Hepperly that had a photo of this homemade twin. A link will be in the description. When you get to the web page, scroll all the way down to the bottom to see the photo. The more I googled, the more Cox-based twin and multi-cylinder engines I found. I even found this one for sale on eBay for the low, low price of $1,049.98. Links will be in the description. These are a few more of the Cox Space twin and multi-cylinder engines that I found by googling Cox twin motor. A link will be in the description. I also did a Google search for the May-June 1966 issue of American Modeler magazine. There are quite a few of them available on eBay ranging from $4 to $20 depending on the condition. If anyone would like copies of the scans that I did for this video, please send me an email and I'll be happy to email them to you. I don't know what else to add other than that the motor ran very well and as it stated in the article it had very little vibrations and it pulled the 48 inch Curtis Robin around the sky very nicely. Please check back with the On My Workbench channel for more videos on cool stuff.
please subscribe, like, comment, share, and click the little bell. And thanks for watching the On My Workbench channel.